Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Uh, actually, I'm not, I'm not the uh, I'm not the host. No. Uh, you are. Sorry. Ha oh, 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 oh. Hello and welcome to the Cake and the Peanut Show. I don't know why I had to do those sound effects, but I just decided it'd be cool to do. Uh, this is where we just bounce around really crazy things that are going around in the world, ideas, thoughts, anything that really just comes to our mind, and we bring to you. It's just a bunch of malarkey that we all find interesting. It almost sounds kind of like the introduction to the day in history, though, but we do find it interesting, you know? And we just want to bring to you the audience, whoever chooses to watch such videos. So, I am followed by uh, my lovely friend and partner in crime here today. What, what's your name, buddy? I am Ao Xander, and are you uh, seeing my camera here? Yes, uh, kind of. But I think he froze up on me. Oh no! But uh, yeah, well, it happens. What, what, what you gonna do? I'm on my phone right now. I'm not uh, on my laptop. When I'm so. unfrozen, let me know because I have something for you. Oh, cool. Hang on a second. Let me. But I am uh, who is Alice, aka uh, Lady Death, and many other things like you know, just fun names that I use. AKA along the life. Just... Pam Poovy, bitch pudding. Yeah, Pam Poo uh, bitch pudding. Stapes. Yeah. Slash staples, um, staples, staples. Lady yeah, Death, yeah. who is Alice? Yep. Uh, just don't, just don't call me late for dinner, you know. The woman of many <laughs> monikers. Yes. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, this is the kicking the peanut show. Where we just, like I said, we just talk about random crap here and there. But let me just really pop up real quick and then pop back in and uh, let's get started with uh, how are you doing? I'm gonna like uh, do this little quick maneuver so I can actually see you. Trying to find a more suitable. Uh... There, we there we go. There we go. Now I can see you. Uh, what do I have here, Alice? Oh, you fucking peanut! <laughs> I kicked the peanut. <laughs> Wait, you, you flicked the peanut. <laughs> flicked the... That sounds wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. I totally Flicking does, the peanut. But... That was Are a good peanut looking... too. Where'd it go? I don't know. You should have like drop kicked that like in the background, like hiya. <laughs> just drop kick have all to have the you... peanut. We'll just have to have you outside to like drop kick the peanut. <laughs> We're just gonna call the show "Drop Kicking the Peanut" from now on. Drop kicking the peanut. Anyway. Well, anyways. Yeah. Look at us. We both thought the same thing at the same yeah. time. Well, you <laughs> want to talk zero. about uh, the uh, the Jesus statue out in Brazil getting hit by lightning? Yeah, uh, you know, what was it the like the Monument of Christ and shit? Like, yeah, it's a, uh, like it's a rare photo. Like, there's been video of it done and happening and stuff, but there's this really cool picture of uh, the Jesus statue on the top of that little kind of mountain like rock, like uh, you know, from erosion all that stuff. It's just really cool where someone actually got a still of it. Yeah, and keep so, talking. I'm actually like, I, oh, there it is. I wanna, yeah, I see it. This is a really good peanut, so I don't want to like waste it. Oh. Well, <laughs> it's a really good peanut. I can't like I can't afford to lose it. I mean, like, look it. at this specimen. This is like, this is like you know the first thing that comes to mind when you think of a peanut. Like it's, it yes, has it's, perfectly it's perfect proportioned peanut. peanut-like properties. It needs a monocle and a top hat and a cane and some you know tap dancing shoes and like a <laughs> like a bow tie, and <laughs> then you're good to go. Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Peanut. But, but no, yeah. I thought that was a really cool picture. Like, I saw that this morning when I woke up. I saw it, like, in my, like, like, and I was scrolling down, and, like, my phone is, like, giving me notifications, and this came from, like, AccuWeather, I believe. But, um, there's a whole thing about where it's, like, you know, it's just a rare moment where you can get a good still of it, but, like, look at how that head's just, like, Bruh. Yeah, it's glowing like he's, uh, like he has a, uh, a halo. Like a super luminescent yeah. halo. But, yeah, like, um... I've seen several videos on this statue, and uh, one of them, like, because a lot of people don't realize that statue is actually hollow, um, you know, yeah. in, in order for maintenance to get up there, you know, like, you know, keep things clean. Yes. There's, uh, there's a, um, there's lightning rods up there in order to direct lightning, because if lightning hits, because it's, you know, it's a statue, it's up there, there's nothing around it. So, like, every, every square inch of that statue is susceptible That's to lightning. That's a high point. And if it gets hit on the fingers or something, it can, like, you know, cause scorch marks, cause permanent damage to the statue, knock off fingers. So, like... Uh, break out the head, you yeah. know, even. Like, you know, it, like, it, it makes sense. Like, it's kind of like, yeah, like, especially such a, since it's on such a high point. But yeah. that's just a really cool picture. The, it they is. got a good still of it. It is. So... It's really cool. Let's see here. It's, uh, it's, 
it's not that easy to actually get a perfect lightning bolt like picture as you think it is it's really hard to get like perfect like ones but like it's a really cool picture how like it's zoomed in so well but look at that one it zoomed all the way out dude. like yeah th that's wicked oh I mean, right it's, this is exactly cool. what i was talking about see he got hit on the hand <laughs> yeah and it damaged his finger so yep and so they have to put out like rods and stuff now because like just to protect the structure because oh of how God. old it is <laughs> oh no like that thing like it's insane like like some of these pictures that they have like like Yo. i've seen some videos of it like if he's oh jesus it's like it's like going up the hill to it it looks like he's a wizard summoning lightning <laughs> yeah i know That's or awesome. yeah we're not summoning lightning he's like raiding but <laughs> then we have random explosion <laughs> like... oh but then but then like you go about that like well this is in like brazil and not very not so so far but like you got like that lake uh on like venezuela and i think what colombia that has like the largest amount of like uh, lightning strikes per year because like like over half of the year it's like got thunderstorms and lightning on this lake. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Venezuela things. Before we switch on to yeah. that topic, like I'm looking, you see these uh, little well, yeah. like sticks. I think those are the lightning rods. You can kind of see them. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can. They have to. You uh, have to. They have that. little like sticks coming out all across his arm, his fingertips, everything. Yeah. So. It's to like reduce damage, but like you know, it's not to it's not going to be like a full deterrent. But every once in a while, it's to mitigate. Yeah. But like, yeah, they have to do some fixing. But it's a cool statue. I'd love to see it at least once in my lifetime. But so would I. Now uh, you're talking about these uh, Venezuelan this uh, this area. The this... thunder, yeah, the thunderstorms that like go over this lake, like on the like it's a lake on the border of Venezuela and I think Colombia. Yeah. The giant lake, it's, it's right on, I think, part of the, technically part of the Gulf of Mexico and everything, too, so, um, but it has, like, some of the most light, like, the most lightning strikes in the world, because, like, I think over, like, 180 days a year, it just has these crazy lightning storms. It says here, uh, and sorry for the bad quality, it's just a picture, audience. Most electric place on Earth. Venezuela's Lake Maracaibo holds the Guinness World Record for the highest concentration of lightning. With 250 lightning flashes per square kilometer each year, the storms are most spectacular at the peak of the wet season. As At this time of year, you can see an average of 28 lightning flashes each minute. So, see, here's the thing. It's not 250 lightning strikes a year. It's 250 lightning strikes per square kilometer per year. So... Yeah. Like we're talking through, thousands like, through of that area. Strikes. Yeah. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. I mean, like, like I right remember here. seeing was it was it like I, I I've seen a, a couple. It wasn't. I think it was part of River Monsters, even though he was on the lake. But like, he I think he was going between places to like you know that River Monster Hunter. I think like he was like in a portage, where it came onto this lake, and like one night he's out there just like in the video tape shows like just how active it is it's insane oh yeah i mean like you know right here like a lot of people would think that this is a con a, you know a, a compile of like a spill you know well no no like you know they would think that uh uh like you know this is all the lightning strikes because you know how you can like uh you know take a yeah. picture and take another picture and then, lapse. and then compile them together uh no yeah, this is lapse. just one photograph like you know all of these strikes are happening simultaneously it's literally a wall of electricity like this other picture here uh, there's a location in Venezuela known where lightning strikes up to 280 times an hour, 160 nights a year. This atmospheric phenomenon is known as Cata, uh, Cata Tumbo lightning. So, like, yeah, that wall of electricity is not a time lapse, that is a one shot. So, that's Well, I insane. can only imagine, like, the sprites that this these storms produce. Because, like, if you remember anything about sprites, it's like that discharge that goes up into the atmosphere. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, is there any pictures you can show of sprites? Uh, lightning sprites. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, that's when, like, sometimes... Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, is, is that, is like, like uh, electrifying the, like, the ionosphere? And yeah. Stuff, like, uh, it comes with really actively, like, electrically charged, like, uh... Particles. Storms, yeah. And so this is what will happen, like, these sprites. And people wouldn't didn't realize this until, like, what, back in the... What 
late 80s, early 90s, or somewhere in the 90s, I think, that well, we discovered sprites. I brought up this picture here, and, like, it's showing us all the different, um, like, uh, lightning stuff. So, like, down here, you have, like, you know, the storm, normal clouds and everything. You have normal lightning, lightning over here. Uh, blue jets, upward super bolts, conventional cloud air discharge. And then mm -hmm. up above, we're talking about, like, uh, kilometers. So, like, you know, the lightning is... Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, so 10, 10 to 20 kilometers in the air. Up to 50 is when tendrils start happening, and then sprites are up, uh, they start up in the mesosphere, up at like 65, 70 uh, kilometers in the air, and it continues on up, and then above the uh, uh, the sprites, there's elves all the way up in the ionosphere, and I believe that's Are you talking like, about kilometers, or are you talking about feet? Kilometers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, uh, up to 100 kilometers in the in the in the uh, air, up in the ionosphere, uh, the electricity. Uh, like, I'm no scientist, but like, you know, I I know about like you know ions, you know, radiation discharge, yeah. you know, stuff like that. So this is all particles up in the upper upper atmosphere getting uh, excited and uh, providing. Um, like, well, what goes up must come down too. Yeah. So it gives it gives off discharge from the center and goes outward in both areas when it's supercharged. Yeah, it's a really cool phenomena, and it's really awesome that we discovered this. And like, actually, quite literally, like, if you're in an airplane high enough about above a storm, you can actually see like mini sprites if mm. if you're like, paying attention. Yeah, I haven't like seen any an airplane flying like across the. Yeah, I've seen it happen. Like when I was a kid. That's awesome. But like I didn't know. Yeah, but I didn't know that was what it was. But like it's very quick. But like you don't. You think you're just seeing like you think it's just kind of like just the bright light. But like if it's far off in the distance enough, you can actually see something kind of. Real quick. You want to know what I wish we'd learn a little bit more about? Hmm. Ball lightning. Ball lightning? Oh, dude, that is a crazy phenomenon. Yeah. I wonder, like, I, I'm afraid to have you pull up a video of, like, anybody that's had ball lightning. Cause, but, like, it usually is just, like, a cell phone footage. And some of it, it can be de debunked. But ball lightning is the rarest form of lightning. And it usually will float around. And then when it, like, discharges, it will make a loud bang. Like a transformer blew up or something. Yeah, because it's it's just like it's just power that's floating around. Like uh, I have a couple stills here from a video I know I've seen of a uh, ball lightning hovering over train tracks, and it's yeah. uh, it has uh, discharge tendrils uh, going over and making contact yeah. with the rails, but it's still like floating around, and then it blows up. This one says. Yeah, well, it's maybe been after. But... Well, maybe after the show we can actually watch a video of it because I'm af afraid like. <laughs> to watch a video of it and be like, yeah, you yeah, get know. in trouble. Like, it's, it's it's stupid. Like you know, like I <sighs> see. I don't want you to feel bad for getting us in trouble because normally you know it shouldn't be getting us in trouble. But like no, because it was on it was on YouTube for everyone else to see. So I was like, yeah. well, why can't we just like show it? Like we were just sorry, Shay McMahon, if we and sorry WWE if we offended you. Yeah, you think, sorry, you know, actually. I was talking with uh, the Golden Loon about that. He's just like, you know, you'd think they'd be, you know, appreciative, you know, of the shout out, you know, not just yeah. shut us down. Yeah, well, maybe it's because right. it was Shane McMahon and not like Stephanie or Triple H and because Shane's not really part of that anymore. So well, maybe that's you know, why and they were butthurt because we uh, wanted to show the, like the insane, like, if, but if it was like Mick Foley, if we had shown like Mick Foley and like all that, him doing it, like, it would probably have been okay. <laughs> I don't know, because Carrera said the WWE goes after everybody, no matter what. So, oh, very oh, much like, you know, uh, Disney, and especially Nintendo. Ugh, don't get <sighs> me started on them. So. Well, poor Nintendo, but not. Uh, nope, not poor Nintendo. The only thing good about Nintendo was the Nintendo 64 with the game Goldeneye. The only thing good about Nintendo. Yeah. Well, my That's other easy. monitor froze, so I'm going to have to bring the Discord chat on, uh, into the camera. Um, but let's see here. So, uh, yeah, no, like lightning electricity, um, you know, it, it is, it is fascinating. It is a, like, well, weather in itself is just fascinating. Yeah. Like, like dust devils are really cool to see. Like I've seen somebody like in a dust devil get like flown like 15 feet because they got decided to run into one. I'm like, you idiot. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen a couple <laughs> dust devils out in the desert. Like when I was younger. Dude, 
Yeah, but like, kind of, you know what it reminds me is like, you know, when someone put, like, I've seen this old video, like, of, like, someone does, like, a merry-go-round, but they hook up their moped wheel to it to make it spin faster, and oh, all yeah. next you know, everyone goes flying off and, like, off, like, it, from the force of gravity. Yeah, you know, like, you know, that's when, that's when, like, that's the last generation of, of people actually having childhoods, because, like, you, you know, you, you you can't build character if you're not getting, like, thrown off of a rusty carousel and, and contracting tetanus, you know? Like, you, well, you, you, gotta, you gotta go out there and get, get some broken bones, you know, get some scrapes, yeah. you know? Like, yeah, get some, gotta live life outdoors, just don't have to be on a screen all day. Yeah. No, Xander, go, go look up, just, like, at a sidebar, and just, like, privately watch, like, here, I'll, I'll tell you this I can't right have video. a sidebar, my other monitor is frozen. Oh, okay, well, just look up Very Go Round of Death. Uh, death. This Sounds video like probably came office. out in like 2007. Oh, yes. Merry Go Round of uh, Death, it just shows no, a no, no, not that, not that one. Hang on. Just go, like, go back. This one? I'll tell you which one it is. You'll... Yeah, this one, he has a... This one, yep, on that it. one right there. Oh, yeah. This one right here. Yes. Now, watch that privately, that I've seen video. It. I've seen, like, oh, a yeah. lot of these. Uh, I've <laughs> well, seen that one where, particularly. uh... I've seen one where somebody, um, like, attached a, a full-on motorcycle and stuff to it. Like, uh, it, it's it's insane. Well, yeah, he's using just a little tiny, like, moped scooter. But, um, like, no, just, like, uh, put it, like, look it up on your phone real quick. And just, I just want to see your reaction when you <laughs> watch Howard. it. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's, it's brutal. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, there's several of these with like littler mopeds and everything. Yeah, but... that one's uh, by far like the best one, in my opinion. There's it's one the I've first seen and that was there's only by one, stronger. and that's that one. For me, I don't know. I just can't, I can't help it. Carousel powered by car. Dude, I used to love those. Like, I used to love running around. We had one like. When my grandfather passed away and we had to go out back out to uh, southwestern Minnesota for his um, funeral last June, mm -hmm. we drove by my grandfather's house and my grandmother's house and like sure as crap, like like a house and a half over, there was the same same swing set with the same merry-go-round, same same teeter totter that I got hit between the eyes with. Oh dang, it's still there? It's still there, the same swing set, oh same god. everything. Like, Bruh. I was like, oh my god, they never changed it. It's the same as it was like Alice, 30, do you see this picture? 30 years ago. <laughs> Alice, do you see this picture? Yeah. Like, I look can how see fast what's going it's going. On. Holy crap. That one looks like it has a protection one. You remember, I had the ones we had were the ones where were like down at an angle and then went straight down, and so you had to hold on for dear life. See, oh, dude, we. <laughs> it's it's stuff like this I'm used to. Like like look how rusty yep. and like sharp edges yep. and like. It was you know. it was like the di it was a diamond plate like uh, bottom with like each yeah. one had a different color like and it was like a, like a pie shaped like colored yep like that yeah like well that. we didn't have no, the, no, no my, we didn't have that one yep the, the, no, so like the, you can see there used to be colors on this it's just so run down yep like yep this is this rusty. is like the, this is the one I used to like romp around with oh those those are the best yeah I remember these like these are from my childhood like like. You know, back in my day, guys, sound like old, like, but, yeah. like, you did not have a fun day out on the playground unless you come home <laughs> with, with blood on your clothes, oh, no. essentially. Like, you, you have to have some kind of wound, so, otherwise you didn't play enough, so. Oh, dude, no. Yeah, we, we, we didn't mess around back then, like, tetanus was, like, a thing. Let's see here. Kidding. Old playground equipment. Oh, yeah. Oh, like the old metal slides that, like, burn your skin when you slide down it? Yeah. When you're wearing shorts? Oh, because the sun's burning on it? Oh, yeah. I'm trying. But, oh, hey, here it least, is. <laughs> like, at, least, at least the welding was good. Now, you know? now, look at this picture. Like, look at you have You have kids climbing up these rickety ladders, just climbing on these, like, shoddily built pipes. 
You see this kid, mm-hmm. like, all the way up here. How did he get all the way out there? You know, like, that's dangerous. And then, see, something that a lot of people don't seem to realize is not only back then, you know, like, would you have a high, you know, probability of getting injured, but uh, over here, you'll see only the strong survived recess. You have a child <laughs> mid-falling. <Fine. laughs> oh, my God. Good. No, dude, it's like, it's seriously <laughs> insane. Like, like I miss that. Like, yeah. you know, we used to climb up trees and fall a lot of them. Bro, remember, you know. like, getting on these tire swings and spinning around and then, like, not oh. realizing how tight the chains were until your fingers get caught in them? Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. or you accidentally, or somehow, like, your pocket gets stuck on the fucking S-shaped chain that holds the seat to the swing and you jump oh, yeah. off and you get caught on that and you just go boom, down. <laughs> I've seen that happen. Yo, where was this? Like, some of these are like, some of these were, were you know, gone by the time I got to a playground, but this looks fun. And dangerous. This looks fun. And then I just saw like, <laughs> uh, children just swinging around. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That looks so fun. Dude, I would love that. I would too. See, in, in something like this would be dangerous. I would like... Oh, I've, they... I've seen parks where you used to have shit like that. Yeah. I would try to like climb like upside down, you know, and then like go all the way around like, you know, a roller coaster doing a loop. So... There was this place called Playworks, I think, that had like, it was just this gigantic jungle gym. And it was an indoor one. It even had, like, this huge area that was, like, three stories tall of, like, the nets that you would, like, kind of see, like, in a McDonald's playhouse. But, like, this was, like, massive. Like, was, uh, oh, my God. It was so intense. What was that, uh... What was that company that the entire thing was just a play place? Well, like, this place was just called Playworks. But then there's, like, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, but, like, this wasn't, like, a fast food building. It was just, like... Uh, play pie? No, like uh. No, I'll... I said playworks, but playworks? I mean that's what we had out in the mid. That was out in the Midwest. Uh, well, it, it, it's it's the same idea. Like the like, uh, I I had a like several birthday parties in one of these. Like you know they had pizza and everything, but they weren't like Chuck E. Cheese. They, you know Chuck E. Cheese is all about like you know uh, the pizza and the arcades and all that stuff. Uh, this entire thing was just completely structured to be primarily a play place. So yeah. it was what like play, all that's sorts what Playworks of was and... essentially. There wasn't like any like arcade games really per se in there. I there think might be like did. a really small section, but yeah. not a huge one. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna ask the Golden Moon if he just so happens to remember. So one minute. What's that place? That's just a big, like, it has that big playground up top, but has, like, the arcades below that we went to when we were out for your birthday. Uh, not last year, but the year before. Welcome. That one giant playroom, like, uh, arcade and everything down in, like, by the mall. The works? Yeah, uh, why am I missing? The works? Yeah, the works, yeah. It wasn't my birthday, but... Well, no, it was a round trip birthday we went out there, remember? Because we He's stayed out there for, like, a couple like... days. You just said it doesn't look like anything to him. I just... I came home last night, and... You were, like, it was, that was going off the whole night. Because it's a 24-7 stream. Oh, my God. It never ends. Dang. Jesus. I thought the 10-hour yeah, stream so... we did was a long... Well, there's this place out in uh, Pennsylvania called The Works, which has like up on the upper level, it's like a like a jungle gym, but down below oh. is an arcade. What? The Works? Is that what it was called, right? Is that? <laughs> yeah, up on the top place, it was like that mazy jungle gym you can run around. That was what was closed off when we went up there. Remember, it was closed off. Yeah, but like on the first floor, it's Holy like a bunch of like arcade games. But if you look above, it's like two floors of like. Yo, jungle gym. Alice, look at this. This is enormous. Hang on a second. I Let me get back into it. Go in there. Oh, gosh darn it. My phone's being a douche canoe. Dang. Get a second. Here we go. I'm just absolutely yeah. surprised. Oh, that that's is, wicked. That's enormous, dude. 
Yeah, well, this was this is very similar to what I was talking about, but a little different. And, but yeah, the, our, I think the place we it was called Playworks, and I think it was like in some little like suburb suburban town outside of the Twin Cities. But like it was a really cool place. My friend had for a birthday party when I was a kid. It was super cool. Um. But there's this place called The Works here. I think, like, look it up. I, it's look out for The Works in Pennsylvania. I looked like up on The, the Works. Top. That was uh, that oh, massive uh, picture I showed you earlier. That was from The Works. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. See, so it has that big whatever, and then Hi, below Blake. it has the arcade, and there's a bunch of restaurants. There's a couple, like, food areas and a bar. And I, and I think there's, like, what else is in there at The Works? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh... I want to say, company, 1990s. Oh, you, you seem to knew, know more about it back when we were talking about Here it. Here we so. go. This looks very familiar. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You just go around? Yeah. Like, here's, here's like, a, like a 3D blueprint and such, you know. Here's another one. Like, you have slides, oh, you have climbing things, you have those it. nets. Like. Yep. I mean, so. that's, like, I would love an adult one. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, you know, like, maybe we should uh, get into that. Like, you know, make an adult play place. Dude, that would be fucking wicked. Yeah. An adult play place like this, like, for those who are for the whatever. And then, like, in certain areas, if you can climb up to it, then there'll be, like, a little area where you all of a sudden you have a bartender. But the literally no, fucked up part is, is, like, the bartender sitting into at the... That. the... The lawsuits would be incredible. Oh, dude. Well, no. Like, no matter how you fall, though, you're gonna... It's it's so padded, you'll fall through some many bungee cords. You'll be like, ah. Oh. Well, <laughs> adults are also, up. like, you know... Adults are, are less durable than children. So, like, it doesn't matter. Like, if you fall on, like, you know... Freaking 18 yeah. feet of pure padding, if you just fall on your head wrong, then you're gonna die. So, it doesn't matter. Oh. So, like... Um, uh, yeah. Cause, I know, because, like, even if, even if you don't, you know, the impact doesn't kill you, it will not kill you, but the rest well, of your body is coming down on your neck. So. Well, then how about this? The top the top part, if you climb up to it successfully, you'll be rewarded with an ice cream par parlor. Hmm. Well, well, we'll figure this out. It's a good, uh, <laughs> it's a good start of an idea. Like, wow, be hilarious. Oh, damn, awesome. look at the. Oh, that's cool. Slide. Yo! That one's vertical. Ooh. Dude. You see that? That one's gonna go flying. If like, no, too, you see if it, not it goes straight it right. down. Like, you, you literally just, like, shoot. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. That looks dangerous. <laughs> that looks awesome. Yeah. Like, I want to have, like, the, one of the biggest, ja like, ball pits. But, like, also, like, on one end of this, like, big, ginormous, like, jungle gym, the other side would be a water park. World's biggest ball. Oh my god, that is that what? is a big ball pit. They turned a fucking what, Olympic pool into That's a ball pit. That's actually dangerous because you can't swim the top of balls. You you well, literally unless it's sink. like a, it's the size of an Olympic pool, but it's all like one. It doesn't go deeper. It like you know stays like you know. Looks like it's uh, waist it's deep. like no more than four feet, five feet deep. Yeah. Oh wow, that's, oh, that's good bigger. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. You get to call, crawl, uh, go to a gumball machine and then raid a slide. And slide down into the pit. That's cool. You know, in a way. Dude, that looks like it was. Dude, is that in the Mall of America? No, it's not. Uh, let's see here. No, it's not. It looked like it was the great circle, but like the way the angle of it is, it's more oval shaped right there, like egg shaped, so it can't be. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where this is. But it makes so me think e. of the movie Toys. <laughs> yes. Makes me feel like the movie Toys, like with Robin Williams. Huh. And I, and then that that uh, Happy Story? Worker song from Tori Amos. Tori Amos. Yeah, Tori Amos. Amos, huh. not Anus. A M, M is a Mary. Oh. They converted an office. Prank in your right? yeah, prank in your office mates with <laughs> balls everywhere. I'm like this oh. isn't funny. And you're like whatever. This is cool, though. Is funny. Do you know about these? What? Uh, the black balls they put into the reservoirs. 
Are they just like like rubber balls or yeah. are they? They're just black rubber balls. But like uh, out here in California, and I actually saw this on a uh, on an episode of um, of What on Earth. Uh, but uh, somebody like you know saw the California reservoir, like or, like one of our reservoirs in Los Angeles, and it's completely black. But it's not black because of the water. It's black because there's like thousands, millions of these little black balls, you know, that are floating, and because they're black, uh, they uh, they absorb the light. So like you know, uh, it, it reduced. Uh, it, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, like the heat taking water evaporation. It, it reduces the, evaporation. Yeah, it reduces evaporation. Oh, that's smart for like being a drought. So it, like it reduces it because it's not like the whole water's not. That's cool. Yeah, they cover the entire using water black, in these black using balls. Using black balls to yeah. reduce evaporation in water reservoirs in California. Look at that, Mag. Yeah. They like rub like throw a bunch of rubber balls right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like here's a. Uh... Hi. Here's another picture, like you can see, like, oh, here we go. Look at that. Yeah, see, okay. they're dumping all the balls into the reservoir, and you can see, like, the entire reservoir is covered in it to combat, you know, the drought. So. I hope they're, like, they're, like, like non porous rubber balls, so, like, or, you know. Well, oh, I, yeah, I believe so. Because then, cause then it doesn't get into the water. But, Dude, does that oh, look okay, weird? I get it. Well, that's, that's smart. It looks like gravel, but it's not. If you try to it step looks out like, on it, looks that, you'll like, fall. it looks like uh, it looks like it looks like caviar. Yeah, it does. A sea of caviar from afar. Caviar from James afar. James Bond. James Bond would want, or, or a giant black ball pit for kids would be like, oh, let's jump pit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> <laughs> not good. But hey, you know, like. It, it would be like I'm not condoning this, but it would be a, a an intriguing way to dispose a body because you can't see it from the surface. Yeah. So that wouldn't be good either. So don't do that, people. Well, I just have to bring it up now. People know about it. Way to <laughs> go, Xander. Whoops. But yo, like uh. Um... Way to give out tr Californian trade secrets. <laughs> Well, I don't think Noah is going to be joining us because uh, we're over halfway through the show already. Um, I know. Aw, it's unfortunate. But, oh well. anyways, have you heard of any um, interesting stuff? Because I, I, I did say we were going to talk. I would like to have talked about like UFO stuff. Uh, yeah, well, like you know, we all know about all these balloons and then like you know shooting down unidentified objects and like you know we. Uh, apparently, uh, okay. well, there was a balloon recently that was shot down that was part of some kind of like hobbyist group's balloon, and now people are just shooting balloons. We're 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 we've turned into a, a society fearful of balloons. Like, oh my God, something's in the air! Shoot it down! <laughs> I like I don't understand it. Like, when do we do that before? And see, here's but, how uh, wacky it is. Like, and like even I fall prey to this. For all of these years, you know, all of these UFOlogists and conspiracy theorists and all these people have been going on, like, saying, you know, oh, it is UFOs, it is aliens, the government's lying, the government's lying. And now the government's saying, oh, yeah, it is UFOs, it is aliens. And now all the conspiracy people, including myself, they're like, oh, no, it's not aliens, the government's lying. The gov it's like, oh, my God. Like, everything it's is just so world. twisted. Like, they're, calling like, them, they're calling them UFOs because they're... What, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on. But it's like now they're like, oh, now you're gonna admit this. It's like, okay, yeah. Well, we can see these in the with telescopes, and people are showing pictures. Like, no, that's just a balloon. Yeah. It's not like one of those like glowing like. Which is like, funny orbs, because like, in Roswell, like, well, that was the first thing they said. It's just a balloon, and then now uh... like everything's flipped on its head. Literally everything. <laughs> My God. Everything's upside down now. Yep. Oh god, we became Australia, it. mate. Crikey. Throw a yeah, ship on the bob, eh? <laughs> it's all it's all Greek to me, dude. I, I don't even know it I don't even know what to think anymore. Like logic is just out the front door apparently nowadays and so I'm just like, you know what? Yeah. But I did see a video earlier uh, today, actually, uh, let's see if I can see it in my history here. Oh, yeah. Um Uh let's see here. Where did it go? Um, yeah, here yeah. it is. Um, 
from uh, Tim Poole. Senator says lock your doors tonight uh, after being asked about UFOs spotted over U.S. So <laughs> lock your doors tonight. That's concerning. Like as the uh, as... Jesus. Yeah. Well, if you weren't locking your doors beforehand, you're an idiot. Well, I mean, no, you're not an idiot, but like, you know, well, I, I, I remember those days where you didn't really have, like, it's, it's more of a saying that you didn't really have to lock your doors at night. Well, locking doors is more of a sign of uh, the collapse of a society because like, there is a, there is a guy, uh, I don't remember who it was, but like, um, it's a black guy. He grew up in the Bronx and everything, or no, in Harlem, not the Bronx. He grew up in Harlem. Uh, and we all know Harlem, you know, is not a good place. Uh, but he grew up uh, during, um, like, or before, uh, uh, either before or shortly after the start of se uh, the whole segregation thing, or I think he's uh, talking about what his, what his dad said to me. Um, but before uh, welfare and all that stuff, uh, or actually, no, during welfare and all that stuff, uh, the, the, uh, the black community can only rely on itself. You know, it couldn't rely on police because, you know, yes... Uh, there were, you know, racial biases back then, a lot more than there are today. You know, I'm not saying that they're not here, but, like, you know, back then it was really bad. Uh, so, you know, the, that community can only rely on itself. And, you know, in Harlem, they, they didn't lock the doors because, you know, they didn't have anything to fear from each other. And then, you know, then they brought in, um, you know, uh, uh, welfare and all that stuff and started making people dependent on the state. And then, you know, it created a whole bunch of stuff. And then, yeah, so... Once, uh, once government starts getting into your life, things start going bad, you know, because you got to only you can take control of your life. If you rely on somebody else, then then you're giving them the steering wheel of your direction. So. I, I, you know, what, really, at first, when you said only you, I thought at first for a second, you're going to say it can prevent forest fires. <laughs> no, they got rid of Smokey. What? So I can't believe that. Like, Smokey yeah. the Bear was the bee's knees. Ah! Smokey the Bear, yeah, I know, yeah. but I call him Smokey Mandela the Bear. effect. Yeah, I know, I just say Smokey the Bear, it's just a thing. I gotta mute myself for like 30 seconds. Alright. So, why don't uh, you do a little filler of some awesome stuff real quick. Another uh, interesting topic we can discuss, because I copied and pasted this uh, back on the 16th, so it's been three days. But like 1932, the first patent for a tree issued to James Markham for a peach tree. So that makes me wonder, like, you know, was it, was it that strain? Because, like, how do you patent a tree? So it has to be, like, you know, that seed, you know, that strain for that particular peach. Like, you know, copywriting things. Because uh, Monsanto has a lot of uh, copyrights on, you know, their seeds and whatnot. And I know that because they sued the wazoo out of, you know, private and small farmers whenever an act of nature like a gust of wind blew a seed into their property and they lost everything somehow like so it doesn't surprise me at all you know now that i know i'm not i'm not sure when it happened but bill gates owns monsanto i've mentioned that several times before no okay um, so you were talking about the peach tree so did you find yeah. out like uh exactly like what particular peach tree he patented uh i did not that in the history um, show i didn't look it up either well let's see here let's check this out um so this is from uh, Patton Yogi. So. In yogurt? No, Patton Yogi. Uh, let's see here. Uh, February 16th, he, uh, James Markham received the first fruit tree patent for a peach tree. So it was the first fruit tree patent. Um, as we know, peaches are fruit. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Which is totally per tradition. It is totally, of course, by tradition. Why do we have uh, different pages? Oh, oh, this is the patent. So it has to be the strain. Like, there's nothing else I can think of. Like, I'm no, I'm no, like, botanist lawyer, but you know, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm a layman. Uh, um. Anyway, uh, let's see here. What uh, what's another topic of discussion? Uh, more about UFOs because I, you know, I don't really have much to bring to that table. Like uh, that's that's Noah's and uh, Erickson's. Uh, yeah, 
Forte. Let me ask him what he knows about UFOs. About yeah. UFOs, buddy. Well, um, why don't we uh, why don't we wrap it up then? Cause, yeah, that, uh, that sounds fine with me. We can wrap yeah. up the show. Yeah, so, well, we yeah. can talk about the, the derailment, but everybody else has been. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh. And it's like we, we, I think we talked a little bit about it last week, but like even though the episode, like whatever, I mean, it's still it's like everyone else is talking about. Like it's like tell us something we don't know. Well, here's something that uh, I just remembered that uh, you have uh, been failing to bring back up, Alice. Is that yeah. um, like uh, we don't uh, talk about the past weeks anymore? Yeah, we haven't. Well, I yeah. Idea. Well, well, how was your last week? Uh, my past week, uh, I turned 36. Yes, you so, did. Yeah. Um, went to uh, went to uh, Northwoods. Um, ordered a steak. Well done. They gave it to me medium rare. Uh, medium rare. Ah, so, nice. No, Good it call. was. It tasted yeah, absolutely not... awful, and I couldn't eat it. You know, burned my steak to a crisp. Like you know, it just it tastes nasty. Otherwise, if there's if there's any pink, any red, any color beyond gray in that steak, I, I I've tried it. I've tried you know rare. I've tried medium rare. I've tried medium well. Everything tastes like absolute snot garbage unless it's well done. Mag. So rare, medium rare, well, uh, medium, medium well, well done. I'm gonna kick your ass. Say that word again. Well, I guess we understand where he stands there. But no, seriously, like, uh, like yeah. any steak, like I, I'm serious, like uh, anything oh, less than well done literally makes me want to throw up. Like, I understand. It's that, it's a yeah. violent reaction. So we don't want that to happen to you. So yeah. But so after your birthday, what else happened for your week? Um. Nothing much. Like, I learned that there is uh, more... Like, well, first off, I, uh, I learned about the derailments, like, a week and a half after it happened because there's so much happening, I can't keep my finger on everything. Uh, and yeah. then I learned, uh, like, that same day about the one that happened in Arizona. And then, like, later on that day or the next day, I learned that there were at least three more. There was one in Tennessee, one in Florida, and one somewhere else, you know? Mm -hmm. And... Like as as you mentioned, like this is all happening uh, around uh, farmland that is not owned by Bill Gates or any other major company or corporation. These are all private, family-owned farms, individual things. So it's obviously an attack on you know private enterprise. Um, yeah. That's what I think. You know, it's a theory, but, let's you not know, forget, like around this time, like you know, last year actually wasn't uh, like all of those uh, food processing plants randomly exploding. You know, we lost yep. what twenty in a month, like. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not just a random happenstance. Something is going on, and yeah, so this random. is all on the heels. Don't forget about the whole Nord Stream thing when it's uh, been discovered that we were the ones who blew it up to try to cause uh, Europe to get pissed off at Russia to uh, try to incite a war. So, yeah. well, <coughs> we got yep. a lot, we got a lot of this, but you know, I can guarantee you that everybody. I can barely hear you. If if all the citizens uh, actually. I can still barely hear you. Oh, what the heck's going on? Give me one second. Like, are you uh, on the other side of the mountain from your microphone? Oh, oh you're gone. All right. Well, uh, oh, there she is. Uh, can you hear me now? There you are. Yeah, well, well I was going to say is that, like, uh, there's a lot of things going on, and I think it's going to play, and, and I, what I'll say about everything is that I would, I would understand that probably about... 85% to 90% of people really do not condone what our current administration is doing if oh. they really knew exactly what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to guarantee that over half of the population in this country is not for what is our country is like peddling yeah. out to. It's like, uh... like it's a small minority, you know, very much like, you know, what happened in Germany in the 30s and 40s. Like, a small amount of people took control and took over and, uh, you know, became, like, you know, like uh, one bad apple ruins the bunch kind of thing, you know? So. Yeah, but there's still a lot out there that probably do, like, support. They're like, oh, yeah, uh-huh. I'm like, oh, yeah, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, they wouldn't gain power uh. if they didn't have a certain amount of, you know, supporters. So. Yep. 
But yeah, I think uh, this is a good uh, a good uh, ending to the show here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, thank you very much for joining the Kicking the Peanut today. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed our topics of conversation, as I thought we had a good few variety topics tonight. What did you think about that? It was interesting. Like, uh, we, we really went off on, like, the play play stuff, but that was fun, you know? It was. Yes, we did. And the play place, I think, we should actually double into that and see if we can find more extreme ones. And maybe we can find, like, quick video clips that we can use where, you know, like, we can use them and not get in trouble for them. Because that would be cool. Because I bet you that we could see some really cool, like, obstacle courses. Like, even, like, we could look at, like, like... Ma- like garden mazes and stuff like that because I've always been like a big fan of mazes so like or mirror mazes too even would be like epic to see like some of those like uh obstacles and stuff so have I mean, you seen that like... uh, one meme George Biden's uh, 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 not George <laughs> wow I'm having a Biden moment uh, Brandon's corn <laughs> maze and it's just like no. a freshly plowed field so that way you wouldn't get lost <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen it. All it is, like, it just has a little box or something in it, maybe. I can't remember, but yeah. But anyways, like, we just talk about random stuff in this show, and I appreciate anybody who decides to watch this show of ours. And if you do, you do. Cool. Thank you. Like, like, subscribe, do all that fun, jazzy poo stuff. Yo, before we sign out, look at this. Do you see this? Like a big air bubble? It's a, no, it's a giant ball jungle gym thing. Oh, that's cool. Like, you climb up inside of it. Oh, one of those, like, oh, it's like one of those, like, <coughs> triangular, yeah. like, contraptions. Oh, that's a huge one. Yeah. Don't fall. Yo, what is this? <laughs> that's I love those things. Cool. Those things are so fun to climb in. Yeah. But, yeah, like, maybe even we'll go into, like, the whole cool contraptions of, like, who, like, who invented some of these cool things. Like, we could actually talk about, like, Simple things like that would be fun. I have a jungle so. gym story to tell you that I don't want to share on air. So well, I well, we gotta close someone. the show. <laughs> oh, who just joined? Uh, Muffin just joined. Uh, Muffin, right do you have a... so. Muffin, do you have anything you want to say about life and whatnot? He's probably with people. He... Oh, there he is. Hi. Oh, he's actually talking now. Hi. Hello, buddy. Hi there. How was your past week? A uh, really busy, busy, busy. Overtime. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been on line past couple of days as much, so. Past couple of weeks, bro. Yeah, so I'm freaking been busy, bro. Yeah. And life and shit, so. Yep. Yeah. Man. All right, well, Alice, why don't you sign us off here? Well. As I will always say, for signing us off on this lovely game of kicking the peanut and show, <laughs> be cool, stay in school, don't do drugs, drive drugs. safe, and don't rape. In the words of Chant Daniels, a lovely comedian from Minnesota. Yep. So. Until you catch us next week, or if you're interested in history, we have a history show that streams every day at 10 in the morning Pacific time. Until and then. 1 p.m. And 1 p.m. Eastern. Yep. So. Yeah. Until then, uh. Alice, who are you? I am who is Alice. <laughs> I am Alexander. And, <laughs> and we have a muffin at the end. Yeah. A muffin at the end. So we have a muffin bottom, not a muffin top. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. snap. So. Oh. Anyway, toodles. Toodles, be cool. <laughs>